As illustrated in our previous GI Key Acoustics educational video, bass traps in understanding lower frequencies, bass reflects off walls, floors, and ceilings, yet it collects in corners where these boundaries meet. However, the amount of bass in one corner can vary from the amount of bass buildup in another due to things like monitor and subwoofer placement, as well as room structure. We always recommend treating a room with bass traps stacked floor to ceiling and front and back wall to wall corners. But we also recommend covering ceiling to wall and floor to wall corners within a room. Basically, the more corner area treated, the better the room response will be. However, budget and space constraints may dictate the number of bass traps you'll be working with. So it's best to determine where bass is building up most in your room and treat that area first. One option is to use software such as Room EQ Wizard to test your room. But if you're inexperienced in room testing, the following is a great substitute. Play a consistent, low-frequency signal and walk around the room listening to determine which corner has the most bass build up. We've created a flicker noise, also called pink noise, audio file that's filtered so just the lower end is coming through. You can download this file at the following link. Once you've downloaded the audio file, play it in your room as you examine all corner areas to hear where bass is building up. If you have a handheld SPL meter, then it makes this process even easier. Wherever you notice an increase in volume is the best place for bass trapping. We invite you to visit GIKacoustics.com for a complete selection of bass traps, soffit traps, tri traps, and monster bass trap options. And as always, visit our acoustics advice page to ask our experts for free advice on how to treat your individual space.